Hey guys, Dower here. Uh, I showed you on a previous video how you can clone one drive to another um, for your Mac if you upgrade, say, from a hard drive to an SSD. Well, in my case, I'm about to go from a 250 gig SSD to a one terabyte SSD. And I'm gonna do that, actually, I'm gonna actually do my upgrade using Time Machine instead, and I figured I'd show you guys how I go about doing that. All right, so first and foremost, I got my MacBook Pro here. It is completely shut down, completely unplugged. I gotta pop my spec case off here. So let me go ahead and start there. It's been a little while since I've cleaned out from under here, so it's probably a good idea for me to go ahead and take a look. And a couple of screws that seem to have worked their way loose. Interesting. Alright, so we'll use a small Phillips head. While I'm in here, good time for me to inspect my fans. I don't see any real dirt build up in there. Very good. All right, so here's my my hard drive. I am going to go ahead and disconnect using a small flathead, or actually better than that, I'll use my spudger, my plastic spudger here. I'm going to use this to disconnect my battery. So I refuse to work inside a laptop with active power. I just think you're asking for way too much trouble doing that. So, battery is disconnected. Now we can remove the old SSD. And I've had people ask why is it really important to, you know, remove the battery. Well, imagine if I dropped one of these on a pad that might accidentally start the computer or attempt to start the computer while I'm working on it. I mean, how much, how much chaos would that create, really? Is it worth that, just to save that two seconds or so? I don't think so. loose. Pull this up from out of here. Remove our hookup. These four screws are going to need to be swapped over to our new drive. And they are Torx. Little tiny Torx. So So here's the old SSD, we'll just set that off to the side. Go ahead and install these into our new SSD. I have here a Samsung 840 EVO, 1TB.
right, once our four screws are back in, I'm gonna go ahead and plug data and power cord back in. Wiggle it down into place. Our two screws on the outside. Install our caddy, or the other caddy hold down. Try to secure, take our battery, plug our battery back in, reinstall the bottom plate, there we go. Now in my case, I need to go ahead and install my bottom part of my spec case back on, so. Okay, so our Mac is fully shut off. We've got the new one terabyte Samsung 840 Evo SSD installed. We're gonna take our old SSD, and you remember this guy? Came with the old SSD. We're gonna use this little USB adapter to boot from our old recovery partition. So power on. When you hear the chime, hold down option. Then we're gonna plug in our time machine backup. There's our time machine backup. We're going to boot to recovery. We're going to use English. And we're going to restore from time machine backup. First, though, we're going to go to disk utility. And we need to format that one terabyte drive. So we'll go ahead and erase it. And we're going to call this MacBook SSD. Erase. There we go. Now we're partitioning it, mounting it. Now we've got a one terabyte drive there. Okay, so now we can restore from Time Machine Backup. Now we've got 931 gig available. Restore this. It's going to erase all the contents of the original. Hit OK. And there it goes. We'll let this run. It'll take, oh, I don't know, about an hour in my case. I only had about 40 gigs free on that 250. And there we go, restoring the files. Now, just to be clear, carbon copy, clone, or carbon clone copy, whatever, CCC works absolutely fine. I'm just showing you a different way of doing it if for some reason, say, you have hardware and say you have no internet access to go download that application. You can do all this right from here. Though I have to wonder if you don't have internet access, how are you watching this video? Maybe you're watching it on your phone. Either way, I'm gonna let this run. This is gonna take a little while and we will come back later after this finishes. All right, so we finished. So I can disconnect. 
both these two drives and I should be booting off of my internal drive, the one terabyte 